Hello everybody and welcome to our TGS 2015 presentation of Metal Gear Online. The online multiplayer mode for Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. We know that many players have been waiting a long time for info on MGO, so it gives us great pleasure to reveal for the first time ever an in-depth look at some of MGO's new features, including classes, mission types, abilities, and equipment. Hopefully, people have been enjoying Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain since it launched earlier this month, and maybe a few of you have even cleared the main story mode. If so, then you'll feel right at home in Metal Gear Online, as the game uses the exact same control scheme and much of the same equipment, but in a competitive online setting. And as promised, MGO will go live and be free to download on October 6th for everyone who owns Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. So let's go ahead and start the game. For your player character, you can choose the avatar that you created at the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, or you may also create new characters if you wish. The character creation system is incredibly deep with many options, as you can see here. And if we wanted, we could take all day tweaking things, but for now, let's go ahead and go with this. Next, you choose your character's specialty from the following three classes. Scout, Enforcer, or Infiltrator. So let's take a quick look at what each of these classes can do. Infiltrators excel in close range combat. They're very quick on their feet, and they can be very lethal when paired with stealth camo. Here we see an infiltrator sneaking up behind an enemy yes. to interrogate them and extract the location of opposing team members. Naturally, you can also sneak up on enemies and kidnap them using the Fulton as well. Long story short, if stealth is your thing, then the infiltrator class is the one for you. Next up is the Scout class. The Scout is well balanced and can be effective at both combat and support roles. Scouts excel at spotting enemies from a distance, allowing you to quickly mark enemies for your allies. Then support them with long range sniper fire. Attacking from a distance minimizes the risk of being spotted or attacked by the enemy. So if you're the type who likes to gather intel and snipe targets, then this would be the perfect class for you. And finally, we have the Enforcer class. The Enforcer is a heavily equipped class that excels at combat. Enforcers have high stamina and excel at using a variety of heavy weapons. These guys are tanks who take a good amount of damage before going down. So it's perfect for players who prefer to dive straight into the enemy lines. All right, so now that we've explained the classes, let's jump into an actual mission. There are several mission types to choose from, but for today we'll introduce you to the Bounty Hunter mission. The premise is fairly straightforward, all you have to do is eliminate as many enemy players as you can, however this rule set features some dynamic twists that make matches very unpredictable, enabling players to quickly turn the tide of battle with strategic play. At the top left of the screen, you can see the map, and next to it you see the remaining tickets for both your team and the enemy's team. Whenever you kill or Fulton recover an enemy, a ticket is subtracted from the total. If the enemy's tickets are reduced to zero, your team wins. And these yellow marks indicate bounty points. A bounty point gets added every time you defeat an opponent. In other words, opponents who have very high bounty points have defeated many of your allies. If you Fulton an enemy rather than killing them, their bounty points are added to your team's ticket total. This means that if you defeat enemies that have a high bounty, you can quickly flip the balance of the match. Alright, so let's start the mission. Good luck! Good luck! Get out of hell! Good luck! It's your show now! 
Go, go, go! Coming! Heading your way. All right, so the names of your comrades are displayed in blue above their head. Help me out. And what you're seeing right now is the salute action. Saluting a teammate can establish a buddy link with them. Among other things, becoming buddies with another player allows for sharing of information. For example, you can see what your buddy is aiming at, as indicated by the blue laser you see on the screen. Aside from this, other actions can also be enabled as you build more camaraderie with your buddy. Split up! Copy! Let's take a look at some of your other teammates. The red markers on the screen are the opposing team. And note that markers placed by your allies are shared with the entire Clear. team. Here, a pair of players are entering the building as a two-man cell. And an enemy was detected. Firefight ensues. We spot a suspicious box, which was empty. And it turns out it was a trap because we have a sleep mine. And the enemy was actually in stealth camo and has now taken us hostage. But, as you can see, one of our teammates managed to score a sniper shot on the guy and save us. So thanks to our buddy there. All right, so now we're gonna take the view of the sniper. And uh, we see some of our teammates down below. So see if we can lend them a hand. So scope out the area and see if we can provide some cover fire. Oh, but no, it's a dreaded plush snare. Anyone who looks at it is overwhelmed by its cuteness and will be unable to move, even if it's just through binoculars. That sniper's now disabled. But there's a nice shield dash by one of our other teammates. We'll go ahead and pull from the enemy and take their tickets. And establish a new buddy link. Note that buddy links can be re-established and changed at any time. Alright, and in the meantime, let's see what some of the other teammates are up to. Enemy! Nope, and it looks like we ran into some enemies here. This is looking bad. I need cover! Nice stun, but it looks like we were hit by a Fulton cannon. With no teammates around to save us, we're immediately removed from the field. Meanwhile, one of our infiltrators is making good use of stealth camo to capture and interrogate an opposing team member. This enables you to automatically mark opponents and share their location with the rest of the team. And on the bridge, we see our guys are being pushed back by our walker gear, but we're too far to offer support. In cases like this, you can use a bit of technology that may look familiar from the main game. What we did is we used a wormhole to instantly transport ourselves to our buddy's location. The enemy didn't notice us, so let's hijack their walker gear, and even the score. Alright, and our walker gear was hit. And it looks like it was that guy in the red beret from before. Marking him reveals that he has a huge bounty on his head. And our infiltrator was hit by a missile. But if we can Fulton this guy in the red beret before time runs out, we can instantly turn the battle around and win the match. There's not much time left, and the blue team is dangerously low on tickets. At this rate, we will lose, so we need to Fulton this guy before the timer runs out. And we're hit by a stun grenade. That's not good. Comrade rescues us, and with a well-timed Fulton Punch, we can instantly Fulton the guy in the red beret, turning his bounty into blue tickets just as time runs out. And Team Solid wins in an amazing upset. Job well done. And that concludes the mission for today. But before we end today's presentation, we'd also like to give you a quick peek at another exciting feature of MGO. Unique characters. As teased previously, Ocelot is playable in MGO, and aside from being able to dual-wield revolvers, he can also use ricochet shots to hit targets that aren't in his direct line of fire, allowing him to hit enemies even if they're taking cover. 
pretty good, huh? No, but wait. Was that a remote control arm? Yes, Snake also makes his appearance in MGO, complete with his bionic arm, which gives him various unique abilities, such as the ever popular Rocket Punch. Well done, boss. Alright, and that concludes our TGS 2015 presentation of Metal Gear Online. Players can look forward to discovering other stages, mission types, equipment, and abilities for themselves when MGO goes live next month on October 6th. Metal Gear Online is the competitive multiplayer component for Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain and will be freely available for everyone who owns the game. So mark your calendar and be sure to download the update when it goes live. Service begins on Tuesday, October 6th, Pacific Standard Time. Use the remaining time to clear the single player missions and brush up on your skills in preparation for MGO. Thank you for watching.